Hello everyone, today I'm going to be covering the basics of binomial expansion. So to start with, we need to know what a binomial actually is. And now a binomial is anything that has two terms in it. So something like A plus B, that's known as a binomial. Now, binomial expansion is used in order to figure out equations when you have a binomial that is to the power of anything that would be say above maybe 2 or 3. So if you had say a plus b to the power of 4 you'd use binomial expansion because otherwise it's going to take you forever to write out a plus b times a plus b etc. Okay so you know how to expand a plus b squared and that's just by a plus b times a plus b which if you use the FOIL method it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared okay so that's easy for if you have something to the power of 2 but if you have like I said over here something that's to the power of 4 it's going to take you a long, long time to figure it out. So the first thing you need to do for this is to learn about Pascal's triangle. So Pascal's triangle looks like this. Now, the the way that Pascal's triangle is achieved is by start with a 1 at the top and then you have a 1 on either side and then it, add, it eventuates so that you're then adding these two ones to give you 2 in the middle and then another 1 goes down the edge for the next row the 1 and the 2 equal 3 the 1 and the 2 equal 3 and you have the 1 on the edge there the 1 and the 3 are 4 3 and 3 are 6 3 and 1 or 4 okay and so that will keep continuing on so if you wanted to write the next row now all you would have to do is start with the 1 then 1 plus 4 is 5 4 plus 6 is 10 4 plus 6 plus 4 is 10 1 plus 4 is 5 and you bring down the 1 on the edge as well now for Pascal's triangle it's important to remember that it starts at row 0 so you represent the row by saying n equals 0 and then n equals 1 n equals 2 n equals 3 n equals 4 n equals 5 so what that's basically saying is this is the 0th row <laughs> this is the 1st row, 2nd row, 3rd row, 4th row and the 5th row down there. So the way to read across it as well is you also start at uh, zero. So this is the zeroth term and that's the first term. Zeroth term, second term, third term. Zeroth term, one term, first term, second term, third term. Zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and that's basically how you read Pascal's triangle and that will that will keep going along for however uh, however many you need it for the term in the expansion so to know that you need to times out here by the to figure out how the expansion of this a plus b to the power of 4 the first thing you're going to go to is you're going to come over to Pascal's triangle and look down at the fourth row so here you have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 so I'll just write that out here 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 so they're the terms that are going to be used in this expansion so the first step of the expansion is to write out the first term in the equation so that's a a there 
I'm just going to put a dash in front of it, and then I'm going to write A. And now, because A is the first term in the expansion, it's going to get the 4 from the power 4. So it's going to go there to the power 4. And then next, we're going to add, I'm going to put another dash there for what I'm about to tell you. And then you're going to add A again. But this time, A is to the power of 3 because it's 1 down in the expansion. And now you also have B becoming a factor here, and it's B to the power of 1. If we add along again, another gap, A, and it'll be 1 less this time from 3, so it'll be A2, and B will be increasing, so it'll go from 1 to 2. Now we add again, another unknown there, and put A, 1 less than 2 is 1, so it's just A by itself. B, we add 1, comes to the power of 3. And now, if we add, and we put B the very last time, because if we subtract the power of 1 from A, it becomes 0, which is just, it becomes, sorry, it becomes A to the power of 0, which just equals 1, so we don't have to write it in there. So we add B this time, and plus 1 to the, power of 3 is b to the power of 4. Now, so that's the basic layout for the expansion, like that. But now, these gaps here, we have to fill them in. And because this is a binomial to the power of 4, we're using Pascal's, uh, Pascal's triangle to the fourth row. So, what that means here, these coefficients that we got here, the 1, the 4, the 6, the 4, and the 1. These are the numbers that come into our expansion, these missing gaps here. So I can fill them in now. I can go 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Now that's, that's how to solve the binomial expansion to a power that's higher than higher than 2 or maybe 3 if you you could do 3 without binomial expansion but it's going to take you quite a while so just to reiterate you start with the term on the left the term on the left here that's the first term you write down so a and its first power is the power that's outside the brackets so it starts with a to the power of 4 and then each time you move across that a is losing one power so here the power of it's 4, and then here it's 4 minus 1, which is 3. Here it's 4 minus 2, which is 2. Here it's 4 minus 3, which is 1. And here it's 4 minus 4, which is 0, which just makes it 1 anyway. And then this opposite happens for B, where it starts at 0 and it adds up to 4. So I hope that helps.